Well, it's been a long wait, but uh, SDR Connect, the new software from SDR Play, is here. This is a, a preview edition. I just spotted this on their website today. I downloaded it. The install went uh, pretty smoothly. And I was able to plug in my RSP1A. And as you'll see, the software has recognized the RSP1A. So this is the interface that you're presented with. Now this software is here to replace the SDR Uno software, which has been around for some years. If you've watched some of my earlier videos, you know that I tend to use SDR console with my SDRs. If I'm uh, using an SDR correct, um, directly connected to uh, my machine. Otherwise, I tend to um, use uh, OpenWebRx as a, as a web SDR. But this is SDR Connect. We've got it loaded up. We just press the play button here. And you'll see it takes us to my RSP1A, which is currently on uh, 1.8 megahertz. It's only connected to a... Um, medium wave loop at the moment so I'll step down a little bit so that uh, we'll actually see some signals and uh, I go to uh, 909 kilohertz here just turn the audio up a little and uh, you'll see we can zoom in with these plus and minus arrows zoom in and zoom out and there we are zooming into the frequency we're on at 909. We've got uh, a mode control. Let's turn that down. We've got uh, preset filters 6K, 8K, 11K and 20K in the AM mode. Um, we can alter the tuning step here. We've got AGC and squelch controls. Audio controls. Low cut and high cut uh, controls here, as well as de emphasis for wideband FM. Uh, obviously, we've got a choice here to set it for ham bands, broadcast bands, other bands. And just that one. And the options, let me just bring those back up. Uh, we can display. The S meter in different ways. We can just have the S meter or we can have the signal to noise measurements. I'll just switch that to S meter only and it gets rid of the others. Swap digits. I don't know what that does. Oh, okay. So that moves the frequency display, swaps it with the S meter, and we can pick uh, different palettes for our waterfall and spectrum. Okay, um, it's fairly limited at the moment, I think. So we just go to Spectron and I'll just zoom out a bit. Maybe the display looks a little bit smoother there. We have uh, a recording function here. I think we can set that up so that it records from uh, various sources. Um, we've got an audio spectrum display there. Up here we've got uh, display settings. So um, this will change the way that the uh, the waterfall and spectrum display act. And then on the cog we've got device settings. We can set the sample rate of our SDR play device. Okay, up to 10. So that will give us an increased bandwidth. We can set um, AGC, system gain, IF gain, RF gain. We can switch a bias T supply onto an antenna and switch in notches for DAB and RF notch. That seems to knock the, um, I'm guessing that will knock the lower bands uh, out, notch the lower bands out because it's taking medium wave out altogether. Um, we can add an extra receiver or a number of extra receivers. We can enable an auxiliary display here. What else have we got? Server list. 
about SDR Connect. So I don't see um, immediately any uh, notch filters here. Um, now this is a preview edition, so it may be that there are many more functions to come. At the moment, the display uh, reminds me a little bit of the AirSpy software. I don't know about what you think. It's very simple. We can control frequency by uh, rotating. Uh, I've got uh, a wheeled mouse here. I can just scroll up and down. Click on the digit that we wish to change. Like that. And then I'll just hover over the digit. We can, uh, we can move frequency. So SDR Connect. That's the first view. Um, as I say, I've not got it... Um, Connected up to my main antennas at the moment, but uh, it is working. It is receiving something, and um, it's a new piece of software to uh, to play around with if you're interested. I still would say that I prefer um, SDR Play at the moment, but. Uh, that may change. If we click in the display here, I believe we should be able to um, to alter the parameters of this display. But um, can't seem to do that at the moment. Maybe it's here. Here we are. So, um, yeah. We can alter the base level of the display. Spectrum averaging. Gain of the waterfall. The FFT rate. We can change these settings so that we can see the signals that we're receiving a little bit better. I'll just see if I can tune my loop to pick that signal up a bit. So, SDR Connect. Replaces SDR Uno. Don't think there are any plugins for this program at the moment, but what do you think of it so far? Thanks for watching.